Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for August 22nd through 28th. Hope you're amazing. So, Aries, let's see what we got for you. Interesting. You're on some, you're in like a life shift, change, path, adjustment <laughs> type of energy. Okay. I feel like it's been going on for a while and it's not over quite yet. Okay. Um, also, with this card, I'm like, look for synchronicities. Uh, if things don't feel right or if something feels like it needs adjustment, this is a good time to do that. I will tell you that, Aries. Um, I do feel like if you've been sad or anxious or having some sort of weird feeling, that feeling is at least going to lift up this week, especially when it has to do with work. It seems like work hasn't been the best place for you. Um Due to probably a boss, like a, like a boss, it has something to do with a boss or they're like, um, cracking down on you. And so I feel like a lot of this energy is focused around work or someone cracking down on you. That's, that's what I'll call it. Um, cause I feel like it's different for different people. Like some of you, it's because you really do need to solve something. Like maybe you were getting a little lazy in a certain area um, and they're cracking down on you. And some of you, it's just like not a healthy situation. Like someone's just like a boss is just being mean. Okay. But it's like, you just don't want to go to work or you haven't been going to work, something like that. Um, Yeah, you need to spend time with friends. Uh, I see you spending time with friends and I see it being really good for you. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll help you get out of your head so much. It's like it puts a positive spin on your life, like something to look forward to or to feel positive about. All right, guess we taking all these, huh? This is interesting because it tells me that life seems hard, but it's not, you know, like things are getting better for you, even though it seems like it's hard. Sometimes we just get stuck in the energy of like, oh, everything is bad. And you just continue to feel that way without taking assessment and seeing that things are getting better. I just feel like it's a little bit confusing because, like I said, there's like a spiritual shift and a change going on. So it's not like happy rainbows, but things are, the energy is lifting up for you. Um, I do see it coming to an end, like either this is the last week, the last week or week and a half maybe of this, but I feel like whatever that change is that's coming in for you or that door, it will be here shortly. Um, this is like uh, the realization where it hits you of what you need to do or what you need to kind of pay attention to if, if that makes any sense okay so Yeah, you're getting rid of some, I don't, I want to say habits. Aries, I'm going to be honest with what I see here. I see that you're getting rid of some habits, okay? It's kind of like you've been kind of in this down and out type of energy. Um, and it's kind of, it's making you miss out on things that could emotionally make you happy or things that are emotionally satisfying. 
a lot of it has to do with holding on to how things were in the past instead of moving forward into the new energy. You know, it's like there's there's still something that's in there that you need to let go of. Um, and this week is about letting go of that. So it's so it could be that you are doing something at work, like maybe not showing up because you're having all these issues and you need time off. And your boss is like, you need to come in here, Aries. Like, you need to do this. You need to do that. And it feels, because to me, it feels a little bit like, why are they talking to me like that? That's not fair. But then it kind of feels okay at the same time. That's why it's hard to explain. But with the devil card, I can see that there is a need for you to separate from some sort of something that is keeping you repressed almost. Okay, let's dig a little bit deeper here. Yeah, I feel like you've been going through a lot of changes, probably in the last five months, I would say, um, ten, five to 10 months. I feel like there's a lot of changes going on in your life or a lot of shifts, a lot of emotional back and forth with somebody as well. I can see for someone specifically. Um, yeah, it, it's hard because I feel like Let's talk about this, Aries. I feel like you made a choice to be with this person, uh, like a commitment. And it's hard to just break a commitment off and to act like you don't care. Even though I feel like you fully understand what it is that you need to do, it's hard to just, after you say it, I do, or um, I'm going to be in this for the long haul. This is, you know, like, that's, it's hard to just break that off. So because I feel like with the seven of cups in reverse, you made that decision like you're not seeing that illusion. You're aware of that. But emotionally, it kind of depleted you, you know, um, it made you. You felt the grief. Some of you had to go through the stages of grief. OK, and that's OK. So I do feel like the memories do come back. Or even that person <laughs> may come back or you may fall into back into old habits. The key for you, Aries, is to remember to maintain the flow or to correct the balance. You know, so when you feel yourself falling back into old habits or old feelings, you know, you course correct yourself. OK, um, it does feel like someone tried to offer you like new love. But I feel like there was maybe a third party situation involved in here. It could be that someone started to try to rekindle with you as well um, or is going to this week. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a good idea. Um, it doesn't because it looks like this person is either going to stand you up or they're not going to fulfill their promises to you. OK, and it's like you're going to go back into this, this back into this old um, bad part of the cycle with this person. OK, and this is not what you need to invest your time in. This is not OK, because I see that you want it to have a long term effect, but it's really not going to. So this tells me that definitely you have to cut out something that is confusing. OK, but you've been through enough to see the light here so you know what it is that you need to do okay all right okay okay so love and career money yeah you feel like someone is going to tell you the truth this week probably this person that's coming back um, yeah, 
I feel like they're not going to fulfill their promise. I really feel that. Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. They're not going to fulfill their promise. And I almost feel like you're not even sad about it. It's more like you expected it to happen that way. I don't feel like you're upset. Yeah, at work, somebody is telling you um, something out of care. You know, uh, they want to see you do better or they want to see you be better. OK, but you do have to realize that this is a work environment and these are not your like friends. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say, but. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, you're going through something at home or with your relationship, but you can't let that run your work life. So it's like you have to get back on track. Yeah, you have to get back on track. You can't keep. Um, using that as an excuse. And that's not me not validating your feelings. It's just that you can't keep going on this way, okay? So Aries, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.